Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be focusing on your Anahata Chakra, also known as the Heart Chakra, the center space for love, compassion, forgiveness, self-love, and loving others. So before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike. Thank you so much for your support. I see that our family is growing and that is of course thanks to you. So today uh, Taurus, like I said before, we're going to be focusing on the Anahata Chakra, which is also known as the Heart Chakra, the center space for love, compassion, forgiveness, empathy, love of others, and also self-love. Today, I'm going to take a look at what is the overall energy in regards to your heart chakra. And then we're going to take a look at what does your heart chakra need from you at this moment in time. And then we're going to close this reading with an advice. So let's take a look here. At what is the general overall energy in your heart chakra right now? Taurus, what is your overall energy in your heart chakra right now? So you have balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces, okay? So I feel here, uh, Taurus, that there is this feeling here of twin flame, soulmate. Some of you are connecting with a very significant person right now, okay? Now, it could be romantic, okay? If you already have someone in your life, this could be just a restart, a deepening of souls, a deepening on a, uh, a higher level of commitment, okay, here for some of you. There is a balanced energy here. So there's this feeling of when it's talking about spirituality, I feel here, especially when we're talking about the heart chakra, is that there's this um, intuitive yin energy in your heart area, okay? The the compassion, the love, okay? The intangible things that are very, very important, okay? So those emotions that have to do with um, love, compassion, empathy, and I feel that it is being balanced by your crown chakra or the logical part of yourself. Especially here with Pisces, I feel that you are intuitively connecting here with your emotions, okay? That there may be instances here for some of you where whatever it is that you're feeling inside is like you're going to do things or you are currently doing things doing things based on how it makes you feel okay so you're not so much thinking about the practical side of it now i'm not saying that the practical side of it is unimportant of course it is but right now taurus it looks like you're really connecting on that intuitive um intuitive vein inside of your inside of your heart that that pulsating part of you that is truly connected with your spiritual self, okay? Let's take a look here at, um, well, exactly what I just said. You have inner peace. Yeah, so there's this balance inside of you, Taurus, and it's not a coincidence here that you have two... Um, two cards from two different decks with two fish, okay? Some of you are connecting very deeply to someone here in your heart space. Now, that person can be a family, friend, it could be romantic, romantic. it could be a spouse, um, it could be um, a soulmate or a twin flame, but there's definitely here the sense of inner peace, the sense where... What I'm feeling here is like the divine is in a way either planning or helping to bring some type of uh, sign symbols and synchronicities in your life and that you are in a way feeling that intuitively. Now, very interesting, the heart chakra is green energy and um, or the green color. And if you see here, these two... Um, cards have a lot of green in them. It's like there's this 
balance within your heart space. Uh, aside from the balance of spirituality and practicality, as the card says, I feel here that there's a balanced sense of emotions here. It's like you're at an even keel. Let's take a look here, Taurus, at what does your heart need from you at this moment in time? What does your heart chakra need from you at this moment in time? Let's take a look here. We have a revolution. Interesting, transformative energy. So Taurus, a revolution. This is all about giving up from, giving things up from the past, like giving up on the old in order to make way for the new. Now remember, um, here there's the sense of either restart, like I said at the beginning, new beginning, something starting over or starting fresh. So your heart chakra is asking you or it needs from you at this moment in time for you to really make some radical changes in regards to how you're viewing things, in regards to maybe how you are balancing certain things, okay? And to really focus on uh, giving up maybe old habits, old old perspectives, um, things that have to do with past, just kind of like leaving the past in the past so that you can focus on now, focus on the new beginning, focus where you're headed, especially emotionally, okay? So here I'm feeling that there could be well, very interesting. You got you have a few cards here. Um, I feel here that some of you may um may be hanging on to residual trauma or things that have to do with past relationships. At this point in time, Taurus, because you have here um in, in your current energy, balanced spirituality and practicality and inner peace. It's like you need to look for or you need to continue to um to harvest or to grow or to blossom this inner peace that you have, this even keel. It's like you're very chill at the moment emotionally. Okay. It's like you know, if you're on board, you're on board with what I'm feeling and how I'm looking at things. And if not, listen, go take the back seat. That's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting here. Very laid back, uh, very much intuitively connected though to your emotions. It's like if you don't feel something, you're not going to do it. It's like this instinctive, um, this instinctive part of you that's really just kind of you know, at its highest peak is what I'm feeling right now. All right. So you, have, wow, this is interesting. So you have two cards here. What does your heart need you to do? Well, it's talking about strategy here. Okay. Taurus, it's talking about um, really making plans. Okay. It needs you to, uh, again, remember I said this radical change, okay, that I was talking about here with this revolution, um, it's asking you here to really start looking at the new horizon, to start looking at this new beginning, and to strategize, to make goals, to make plans, to figure out what it is that you truly want, what is it that is in your heart? What is it that you're really feeling deeply about? Is it a person? Is it a, a, a goal? Is it um, a circumstance that you would want to change in your life? Whatever that is, Taurus, this card is asking you here, it says, woman holding the heart, for you to be able to open to love, to open to your emotions so that you can again create this huge transformation from from within and i'm hearing phoenix which is interesting that's not the phoenix but i'm getting here like this phoenix energy for others to see and even for you to see um taurus that you can rise from the ashes okay especially when it comes to your emotion there may have been something that was very much deeply uh either troubled you or there was some deep rooted trauma perhaps that you are working and healing yourself through and this is what it's asking you to do to continue to figure out what are your goals now that this new phase is entering in your life let's take a look at some advice here for you taurus what do you have to know right now at this moment in time in regards to your heart chakra and your advice is let's see 
advice okay it's talking about flirting all right so what i'm getting here though um is that for some of you it might be that they're asking you to open yourself up here my guides are saying hey open yourself to the possibility of love that could be one of the messages here for you taurus for others of you here i feel that there's this need to now take a look at what uh, others may be saying about you or how others may be uh, having you feel. Some of you may um, may take rejection very deeply and it might really cause some type of internal situation. And what it's asking you here is to be the person that really doesn't let the rejection bother them. Okay. Now it's very interesting because I'm seeing here, um, instead of, I'm seeing here like you before and you after. Okay. So it's saying here for you, Taurus, that this energy of rejection, okay, or maybe feeling less than, okay, or feeling uh, that something was missing or that something wasn't quite right. Your heart is asking you here to really kind of turn things around and really vibe at this energy of just being okay, letting things, you know, slide off your back, not really focusing so much on what someone or some some other person may say to you, okay, such as in this situation, maybe um, someone may have said something, gossip, maybe uh, people having opinions or something, but I'm getting here the feeling of like reject those vibrations, reject that type of um, chatter or gossip and really move on wow i was gonna okay i guess not <laughs> i was gonna shuffle here but this just came out um it says live in the moment what you are looking is uh, i'm sorry what you are what you are looking for is with you right it's already within you there's this yeah it, it makes sense you are you have this balance going on right now this intuitive ability um at this moment in time your intuition may be at its highest peak right now and you do have inner peace okay so taurus this is asking you to continue to stay in that energy it also is asking you here speak out communicate and solve conflicts like i said before there may be things here or situations here and it's very interesting because this is green like the heart chakra all right um so it's asking you to speak what it is that you feel inside okay moderation and how of course the tone and how you say what you say is of importance here but it, it's really asking you here towards to to share to communicate in order to solve things or matters of the heart in order for you to get to the root of the matter you have to really tap into your feelings of that situation person place thing or um you know just situation that may be happening right now at this moment in time taurus this is the advice for you click here on the lexa tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more free, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, more free messages. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.